Good morning, party people. Welcome back to another day of thrifting and finding really cheap games so I can sell them online and pay for car insurance. <laughs> it's a very long title for a series, but you guys know what's up. Back at it again. This is bright and early, 8.45 a.m. on a Saturday morning. The grind doesn't stop. Grind don't sleep, I can tell you that much. We got a couple of yard sales we're hitting up, but let's see if we find anything good. Before we go though, we gotta get all these packages in the mail. So the best thing about whatnot auctions is that you get to sell a lot at once and it gets a lot of inventory out of your bedroom. The downsides are you gotta do like eight, 10, 20 packages, like all at the same time. And the post office ladies are not big fans of that. Empty bag means the job is done. It's time to get to those yard sales. Here you go, stop number one on today's journey. A old person yard sale. So, uh, I get this coffee and we'll see how it goes. Oh, you can make your own video games here. All right, so this is currently my box of stuff. I'm trying to rearrange it, make it more uh, <laughs> easy to carry. Okay, I've never heard of this, but it's Pokin Boy. Laser tag. Full of laser tag stuff. I have no price on it either, so. Oh. All right. So that was a lot of stuff. Well, it still is a lot of stuff. For now, it's a lot of stuff. Eventually, it'll be no stuff. But right now, it's stuff. So that was a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. It still is a lot of stuff back there. Uh, just for some context, my local church was having a yard sale to raise funds to go to uh, some youth group event in upstate New York. So I figured I would uh, do some big baller spending today, but I didn't realize that I'd be doing some big, big baller profits too. Um, so this will be interesting. I There's so much, stuff. there's laser tag stuff. There's some coloring books. There's a game system that I've never even heard of before. Like one of those weird plug in and play things. Um, there's a lot of stuff in that box, which we're gonna have to unpack pretty hard. Um, but I won't know full profits and everything until we get back. I kind of guessed on some stuff, anything that had like video game IPs and anything that seemed a little nerdy, I just kind of went for. But we got a couple more stops to go. And then, uh, yeah, then we can go home. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the uh, the video game section so far. So, I Toy Groove Complete is going for about four dollars. Uh, so technically a made profit but it's gonna be hard to flip country dance for the connect is surprisingly uh, surprisingly more than i thought it would be it's running at around eight bucks nine bucks right now i know the the shape of the case is not all that great so i can probably list this for about six and double the profit in this alone this controller we're gonna test out 
and uh, clean up a bit for sure to see if it works. Uh, then I might get some electrical tape, fix up all these wires here. Maybe I'll keep it around in case I get another PlayStation bundle, but it goes for about five to eight bucks on its own, which is decent profit. So from this whole stop, this was $3 that I spent on all of this and combined profit should be around 10, which is cool. And since I paid about four for this, it should be an $11 profit. So here's the big money purchase that I got in this. Space 1999. Uh, this is a 16DVD set uh, that I picked up for $16. The last comp that I saw was uh, 50, anywhere between 40 and 50. So that right there is about a hmm, about $35 profit in just this guy alone. So I picked up these four drawing books, Pokemon. We got how to draw heroes and villains of Nintendo. We got how to draw Donkey Kong and friends and how to draw the legend of Zelda. Uh, each of these are probably, I couldn't find good comps. Usually these are all bundled together, but I think in whatnot, I could probably pull a decent amount of money for these. All right, to finish up the rest of these books, got this Pokedex for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Uh, and it's in, you know, the, the cover's pretty worn, but these things will always sell great uh, to collectors. So in this bag, I picked up a Project. Uh, looked like it was like a plug in and play game. Uh, it turns out it's like a projecting arcade game, which is interesting. These guns alone are usually worth about 15 bucks. Uh, together, I can probably flip it for 20. Uh, without the box and so we got three of these things over here this code masters programming logic Picked up for three bucks. It's running used at about 20. So that's a $17 profit I right, so this Bloxels game was uh, was three dollars. It said, you know the build your own video game thing So I thought it would be interesting uh, Right now it's only running at about 10 and I checked the comps on this pac-man connects while I was there uh, I paid two bucks for it I'm assuming it will probably go for about 25 and that's a $23 profit right here in just this connect set. The final item here is kind of a risk, but might be the biggest uh, bread runner out of here. So this is the Pokin Boy laser tag game. Uh, I looked it up and the comps are ridiculous. They're somewhere in within like 30 to $50. Uh, it comes with all four guns, the chest pads, and the carrying case which a lot of people everything that i've seen with the carrying case goes for over 45 dollars so this right here i paid five this might be a 40 dollar profit altogether so everything here on this bed is a projected profit of 198 bucks round up to 200 just for fun uh, and that's on the uh on the conservative end i'd say so obviously that number includes uh the 43 i spent on it uh <laughs> so on and so forth on everything. Overall, it was a fun day of yard sailing. It was uh, it's good to get out, support a good cause, and hopefully make a profit at the same time. It's really all I got for you today. I gotta go figure out how to store all this stuff. Uh, if you wanna buy any of it, here's all those, all those good old links again on the side. And if you wanna just follow me and hang out, there's everything on this side too. But guys, I wanna thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you whenever, you know, I'm always around. You guys know where to find me.